Hi, my name is Lavish Kumar. In this video, we will learn profiling your NAP Commerce website with Mini Profiler. For this tutorial, we are using version 3.90. So out of the box, NAP Commerce comes with Mini Profiler integration. In order to start using it, all we need to do is configure it correctly from the administration section. Before we get into this, let's see and understand what exactly is a Mini Profiler. So Mini Profiler is a simple but effective library for profiling ASP.NET website, which helps developers to monitor the performance of a web application. So any developer can easily improve the performance of a website by using Mini Profiler library that shows exactly how long it takes for a web page to load, how long it takes for even SQL query to run, and all of the action that are executed on a web page on runtime. So in order to configure Mini Profile on an AppCommerce site, let's go to the administration section. Go to configuration, settings, and go to all settings. And from here, let's search for display Mini Profiler in public store. When I search it, by default it is false. To enable this, I simply have to edit it and change this to true and click update. And that's all you have to do to configure Mini Profiler. Now if I refresh the page, you can see on the left hand side the loading time and all these steps that are executing on the home page on runtime. And here you can see all the columns, duration, respond unload event, load event, same thing you can see. Another setting you can see here in the all settings page, if I type mini profiler, here you can see there is a specific settings to display mini profiler for admin only. So just take a look at it another browser. If I refresh it, I can see left hand side I'm not logged in as admin and I'm able to see the loading time for my website. But if I activate this setting and change it to true, update, and now if I open a new browser and try to view the website, I'm not logged in so I'm not able to see the loading times for, for the home page. This way you can actually uh, basically see the website and control the settings only for admin section and as the admin only you will be able to see the loading time and again if I refresh one more time because I'm logged in as admin I can see here all the loading time since we have already enabled mini profile in the administration section the, usually the profile is always displayed on the left corner of the browser window with the loading time. Now if we try to click on a profiler we should be able to see the loading time like I said for each process along with the loading time that is running on the home page. So if I click on more screen basically you can see duration with child from start. The fewer columns, all the requests you can see all settings and so on okay so now that we know how to configure mini profiler on an opcomer site let's look into how we can customize the mini profiler in opcomer site in order to customize it let's go to the visual studio and let's look into this. Go to Solution Explorer. From here, let's look into the view code. Make sure you stop debugging so we can make changes here. Okay, so now we will look into how to hook up the mini profiler to an EF code first project in NopCommerce, which is also known as the Entity Framework Code First project. Mini Profiler is also capable of profiling EF database calls, also known as 
entity framework database calls. In order to do so, we will have to add the additional dependency of miniprofiler.ef like this. So basically, go to Tools, NuGet Package Manager, and you can just open the console here. You can simply add a command like this install package miniprofiler.ef6. You can do this. Another way, another way to handle this is you can go to the same location, Tools, NuGet Package Manager, or you can simply open a package here. From the NuGet solution, simply type Mini Profiler. dot six I right here and I can download right here so in this case I'm simply going to use the command which is quite easy I'm just going to do this and enter and here it's simply just installing the mini profiler dot ef6 package And here it says successfully install miniprofiler.ef6. So after installing the NuGet package for EF6, let's add the necessary code in the global.asax.cs. So first we'll simply go at the top and let's add Using stack exchange dot profiling dot entity framework. Okay. Now that we have added this, let's look into the application underscore start method. And here you can see this is triggered when the application is started. And here you can see the mini profiler code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a line of code in this application start method. I'm simply going to add at the initial mini profiler. EF6 initialize that's it okay so now that I have added this code I will simply save it and let's rebuild or control F5 or sorry F5 The benefit of uh, hooking up mini profiler to an entity framework code, which is what we are doing here, is that we will be able to see more detailed um, information when the page is loaded. So as the website is loading, since I have the setting enabled uh, for mini profiler for admin only, so in this case I'm not logged in, so I'm not able to see any detailed information. So I'm, I'll go back to the previous browser, and here you can see I have the previous information. Because now that we have added the mini profiler EF6, let me refresh the website. And on the left hand side, you will see something in the red. And this is the additional information that we'll be able to see what we just added. You we will notice that here the additional information give us a lot more detailed information on what controllers are being triggered what zones what there's a slider on this there's a 
topic controller, there's the catalog controller, all the controllers, and you can see I have the option to add more columns, and you can see all these SQL scripts that are being executed, the runtime. So when I click on any SQL query on home, I can see all the detailed information about the SQL query that is are being run on the home page. And it, it's goes, it is simply amazing to see that many profiler is profiling the database calls while any page is loading. We can see the time takes for each query on this page and that is a great way for developers to keep an eye on the performance of the Knob Commerce website. In any case, the site or website is loading slow, the, well, the developer can easily troubleshoot the problem and improve the performance. So I can see different queries here. And as you can see, this information is really helpful. So this is how we do the profiling of a knob commerce website with a mini profiler. Now it's time for us to wrap up this tutorial video. Hope this was helpful. This video is brought to you by Knob Commerce, open source shopping car. Thank you.